Hi folks, Darren here at River Gold Supplies. All right, I'm uh, just dialing this table in, and this is the uh, water table we're going to be using tomorrow at the uh, meeting here at the store with Ray Sarenson. So, it's working really nice. I'm going to see if I can spot any of the gold. Yeah, you can see it. Seems to be, uh, the gold seems to be sitting there the same way as it did with the smaller Miller tables. So, that's good. Yeah, you can see it all there. Now we've been checking the end. We have not panned out what came out the end, but we've been checking uh, the area all along the, 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 the bottom half, and we haven't seen any gold migrate down. Maybe a couple of specks, but we had uh, uh, changed the uh, uh, we leveled it, re-leveled it from the back, and made it a little higher. But as it is right now, it's working real slick. You can see that uh, mirror image of that water. So it seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That's good. That's nice. That's what we wanted. I um, I couldn't get the V group matting to work in this, and it uh, has a lot to do with the uh, three quarter inch hose that I'm using. It's restricting the pump. So what I had to do is uh, change this elbow and have a, a three quarter inch or, or sorry. It has a three quarter inch now. I have to change it to uh, a one, one inch or a uh, inch and a half feet into into this inch and a half pipe. But as it is right now, it is working for the uh, green matting. It may be all I'll need. I'll have to see. But uh, as it is right now, we uh, we're half we're over halfway there with getting this thing to work. So I'm almost. Uh, starting to look like we're going to be able to get it to work. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now we have the high banker set up uh, for breaking down the cons instead of a gold cube. I've been using a gold cube for years doing it, but I'm going to be using the high banker to break down the cons. Got a valve, got our uh, eight mesh screen for the inside of it. This should uh, assist us in breaking down the cons. So. So this is the high bank that we're going to use for breaking down the cons. And everything that comes out of the high banker goes directly into the water table. So this is looking pretty slick. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to call this a pass. So the whole idea behind this, uh, folks, is uh, this is supposed to enable you to um, clean your gold a lot faster than your little baby Miller tables that people have on the market. They're too small, and it, it, it's too much. It's too time consuming. I mean, I've said it in other videos. The Miller tables that I already sell, they're uh, they're 12 inches wide and three feet long, and they work really well. This one here is three times bigger, and uh, I'm able to put cons on it a lot faster. Clayton's going to give a little demonstration here. You can see the black sand just moving. Yeah, this is working real, really nice. You can see all the blinds just taken off. So we'll be tweaking this thing out over the winter, and uh, I don't see any reason why we can't get this thing to work as well as the smaller computer table. But you can see it working. Don't know if you can spot any of the gold. Yeah, I can see it going off. But yeah, you can see all the black sands just leaving. Probably put on about uh, five or six tablespoons, say Clayton? Yeah. Yeah, so we put on about five or six tablespoons 
instead of just the one. And uh, it, the table, the, the, the water table took it. And uh, again, we're not seeing any gold down here at all. So it does seem to be working. Just exiting. And this is the large water table, River Gold Supplies. This is the machine that we're going to be testing over the winter. And uh, we can get it to work. Uh, it, it's going to be here for customers to come in and uh, they can uh, go through the times a lot faster. But ultimately, if I can get this thing to work all the time, and I'll know after the winter, then uh, who knows, maybe we can start making it. But you can see those uh, streams of black sand. Boy, I tell you, this is nice. It's a nice touch. Boy, you can load this thing up real good. Yeah, you can see that black sand just... Lots of gold. You know, we uh, we would have been vacuuming it up already, but we don't have the vacuum with us. So I can see some of the gold, a little, a small amount migrating down. But I could uh, I could uh, lessen the water and get that to work. Just gonna be part of dialing it. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. It, uh, it, it is separating. It is uh, separating the black sand from the gold, which is what I wanted to do for the moment. And um, when we start using it. Junction with the uh, with the vacuum, then we'll uh, we'll catch the ball before it does migrate down. But very little is migrating down. Like I mean, I can only see like a couple of specks. So all seems well. Boy, you got sure got a mirror finish on this. Yeah, this is it. So we're doing a demo tomorrow out of the store, and I have some. Um, I have Ray Sarenson and Lori coming in to uh, do a demo, and going to break down some cons and going to check out this machine. So I got a lot of help coming my way with getting this machine to work. So uh, I don't see any reason why I won't, why I couldn't get it to work. But again, you know, like all the machines and everything that we put out here, you got, you're going to have to do the testing first. You know, to get it to work is one thing, but uh, after you use it a while, you'll you'll figure out whether it's worth your while using it or not, right? But it is a large table. It is three feet wide and it's three feet long. The hobby matting that you're looking at.
Yeah, you can see that just peeling away. I mean, each uh, each little shovel full that Clayton's putting on is probably equivalent to two or three tables, tablespoons. So he's gone through like uh, five or six of those here in the past couple of minutes. Yeah, it seems to be working, and uh, it's looking like a guy that is going to be able to speed up the process of your fine gold recovery. In the past, it's always been very time consuming. But you can certainly see this thing working. Until tomorrow, tomorrow is a big day. And until then, uh, thanks for tuning in. So long for now.